Physics is not only applicable to astronauts trying to launch a rocket into space, but also to athletes playing volleyball in a gymnasium. An inelastic collision is when two masses start separate and finish together. In this video, an inelastic collision example is shown when the, the volleyball is thrown to Eileen and she catches it. The mass of Eileen is 80 kilograms, while the mass of the ball is 0.25 kilograms. The initial velocity of the volleyball is 10 meters per second, and the initial velocity of Eileen is 0 meters per second. In order to find the initial momentum, we multiply the mass times the velocity of the ball and add that to the mass times the velocity of Eileen. This comes to be 10 times 0.25 plus 80 times 0, which equals a, an initial momentum of 40 kilograms meters per second. In order to find the final momentum, we multiply the final velocity times the mass of Eileen plus the mass of the ball. This is 80.25 kilograms times 0 meters per second, which equals a final momentum of 0 kilograms meters per second. This is not equal to the initial momentum because the friction force of Eileen's feet against the ground prevents her from having a final velocity. An example of an inelastic collision is two oppositely charged magnets that attach when placed near each other. The mass of each magnet is one kilogram, with the positive magnet stationary, which is a velocity of zero, and the negative magnet moving at a velocity of two meters per second. So the initial momentum is two kilogram meters per second. After the collision, the mass is 2 kilograms and the final velocity is 1 meter per second, resulting in a final momentum of 2 kilogram meters per second, which again illustrates the law of conservation of momentum. In an explosion, two masses start together and then separate. When I served a volleyball, I started with the ball attached to my body and then it exploded away from me after I made contact with my other arm. We know the mass of the volleyball to be 0.25 kilograms and we can estimate the mass of my arm to be about 4 kilograms. Using video physics, we calculated the final velocity of the volleyball to be 20 meters per second, which means it had a final momentum of 5 kilogram meters per second after multiplying by the mass, 0.25 kilograms. By the law of conservation of momentum, we can say that the initial momentum of the system must be equal to the final momentum, or 5 kilogram meters per second. This means that we can divide the 5 kilogram meters per second by the 4 kilograms my arm weighed to find the initial velocity, or the velocity with which I hit the ball. By dividing the 5 kilogram meters per second by the 4 kilograms my arm weighs, we found that I hit the ball with a velocity of 1.25 meters per second. One example of an explosion is a tennis ball machine. The tennis ball machine and the tennis ball start out together and finish separately. For example, the starting mass of the tennis ball in the machine could be 75 kilograms with the tennis ball being 1 kilogram. The initial velocity and momentum is zero. After the explosion, during which the ball is fired, the 74 kilogram machine times its minimal velocity equals the 1 kilogram tennis ball times its much greater velocity, though the machine moves in the opposite direction. The momentums equal each other, illustrating the law of conservation of momentum. Elastic collision is when masses start and finish separate. For example, when Eileen bumped the ball, this shows that Eileen's mass and the ball of the mass started and finished separate. Theoretically, the initial momentum will equal the final momentum. This is known as the conservation of momentum. The ball had an initial momentum of 45 kilogram meters per second and a final momentum of 17 kilogram meters per second, leading to a change in momentum of 62 gram kilogram meters per second. To find the average force Eileen put on the ball, we can divide the change in momentum by the time the ball spent on Eileen's arm, 0.25 seconds. After doing this calculation, it was found that her average force on the ball was 428 newtons. Another example of an inelastic collision, Eileen sets the ball in the air with a momentum of 7 kilogram meters per second in the negative direction as Shannon tosses it to her. The ball leaves Shannon's arm with a momentum of 5 kilogram meters per second. Therefore, the change in momentum is equal to 12 kilogram meters per second. 
According to the equation for impulse, change in momentum is equal to the product of force and time. By remanipulating this equation, we find that force is equal to change in momentum over time. Since this entire motion happened over the course of half a second, the force is equal to 12 over 0.5 or 24 newtons. Impulse or change in momentum is equal to the product of force and change in time or the product of mass and change in velocity. Impulse is always measured in joules. Understanding physics can help a player maximize their game.